everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the first square in the Spring Blossom Throw Crochet Along. And we are going to be learning how to crochet the Primrose Stitch Square. So that is this square I'll show you here. It is uh, a fairly simple stitch pattern made up of single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, and chain stitches. It doesn't have a lot of texture. It's uh, like a heavy texture. It's fairly lightweight and uh, just a great stitch pattern to get us started on this crochet along. If it is your first uh, time to this crochet along post, you can check out the description of this video where I'll have the link to the free written pattern for uh, the crochet along as a whole, the introduction, as well as this first block. Today I'm going to be working with a 5mm crochet hook as well as a about um, 70 to 80 yards of the Karen Simply Soft in Off White. If you're working the entire blanket, you're going to need about five balls of the Karen Simply Soft in Off White and about six balls of the Grey Heather. Each ball has about 315 yards. For this square, you are going to make six of them. If you're following the same color scheme as I am, you're going to make five of those in the white and then one in the gray. So to get us started, we're going to start by making our foundation chain. So start by making your slip knot. Today I'm going to chain a total of 45. If you need to adjust the size of your square, these squares are approximately 10 inches by 10 inches. If you need to adjust, you can start with any multiple of three stitches plus two. Today I'm going to start with 45. Once you have your foundation chain completed, 45 stitches, you're going to begin row one and you're going to start by working a half double crochet stitch into the second chain from your hook. You're then going to skip the next chain and into the next one you're going to work a single crochet stitch, chain two and single crochet. Skip the next two chains, one, two, into the next one, work a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next two stitches, into the next stitch, work a single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. Work, com, work that all the way across to your final two stitches. Once you come to the end of your row one, you'll have two stitches remaining. You will work a half double crochet into that final stitch. That brings you to the end of row one. For row two, you're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and turn your work. You're then going to into the first chain two space. You're going to work three double crochet stitches. This is going to be your shell stitch. You're then going to repeat that all the way across. Into the next chain two space, work three double crochet stitches. Repeat across and when you come to your 
final half double crochet stitch you're going to finish the row by working one double crochet into the top of that half double crochet stitch Now at the end of my row two, I'm working my final double crochet stitch into the top of that half double crochet. That brings me to the end of my row two. I'm then going to chain one and turn my work. Now for row three, I'm going to start by working a half double crochet into the top of that first stitch skip the next double crochet and into the second double crochet of that shell you're going to work your single crochet chain two and single crochet skip the next two double crochet stitches into the center stitch or the second stitch of your next shell work a single crochet chain two single crochet you're going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next two double crochets, single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. All the way across to your final shell, work your single crochet, chain two, single crochet into that final shell, and then end with a half double crochet into your final stitch. working my final half double crochet stitch into the top of that chain three, my final stitch. And I'm now finished row three. Now for the rest of the pattern, until your work from the beginning measures approximately 10 inches, you're simply going to repeat rows two and rows three. So for this next row, you're going to chain three, turn your work and then start with your double crochet shell stitches uh, and once you reach that 10 inches you're going to finish off with a row two so your row of double crochets you'll finish with that one and uh, fasten off and then get ready to do a simple edging around the edge of your square Once you are done your primrose stitch square, you're going to have a finished piece that looks like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to work a simple single crochet edging around the perimeter of this square. So what we're going to do, uh, as we did with the other squares in this spring stitches throw, you're going to join your yarn with a slip stitch into the top right corner and I'm using the same color here you can switch it up if you would like it's really up to you and then across this top you're going to work 39 single crochet stitches and you're going to work them evenly across as I mentioned with the other squares um, some of them uh, have more stitches or less stitches but what's important is that you al always have the same number of stitches along each of your edges for joining this square to the other ones in the spring stitches throw so I've settled on 39 so I'm going to work 39 stitches evenly across it may mean that I skip some stitches or work two stitches in, uh, in one when it comes to working across the top but uh, yes again just make sure that there's 39 there so work your stitches all the way across to the corner and then meet me back here. When you come to your corner stitch, you're going to work three single crochet stitches into that corner and that's going to bring you uh, along to the other side, around to the other side. There we go. And then you're going to do the same. You're going to work 39 single crochet stitches across 
this rough side. Now here, there are no clear places to place your hook. So you're just wanting to make sure that your stitches remain even all the way around along. And uh, once again, you're going to want the same number of stitches uh, around the sides of each of your blocks. So just make sure that you remain consistent. So here you're going to work 39 down here. When you come to your corner, you're going to work three in your corner, turn your work. Working along that other side, you're going to work 39 stitches, three in your corner, turn your work again, work 39 st single crochet stitches, three in your corner, and then you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. And that's all there is to working this primrose square. So thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.